nigga. You know the song, nigga. Stop playing. Let's go. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit, lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know my dad walk on. Man, you know what, man? Anytime you see a bunch of niggas standing around, you know already that niggas got <laughs> sticks on them. You know what I'm saying? I'm watching these. It's a bunch of niggas in here, man. Say, man, but these the right niggas, man. Listen, man, this guy right here, man, he he been on the show before. He was here, but he was low key. Mm -hmm. The nigga was low key when he was here last time. I didn't even know it was the nigga song I was dancing to. <laughs> I was just in this whole going, and now I, when I go back and look, I say they said that's the nigga song. Mm -hmm. Joker in the building. The Joker is here, baby man. Joker. What's going on, yes, baby? Sir, Joker sir. Go, is going down, yeah. man. So you, nigga, you done jump ship. I don't even know who you with right now. Let's just go and get all the way into it. You were with a <laughs> different group of people last time you was here, nigga. It ain't but three of y'all that I knew. Now, what's going on? Who are you with? Are you are you with uh, C4S? Are you with 1501? What's going on? Talk to me. I'm with um, I'm with 1501, uh, but we carrying the stuff on the same way as we did. Like when I was with C4S, we still carrying on the business side. Okay, so okay. So we can keep working the record, but I'm working on becoming a solo artist. So yeah, okay. I'm, when did I'm this happen? Out. When does this transition happen? Uh, right when I signed them papers. Yeah, like how long ago? Uh, probably like two months ago. Okay. Because okay. when I seen you, you was with uh, Old Boy Prince and uh, Unique Music mm -hmm. and all of that group, and it was a bunch of mo faces, and that guy was here, <laughs> and that girl was here. It was two people that's here now that I see. And y'all was, y'all was, the movement was strong. You know what I'm saying? The TikTok was going down. I mean, I seen it, and it was like, man, you know, but I did not know that was your song. I'm that damn lame. I'm crazy as hell, nigga. I did not know. I'm just dancing, nigga. I don't nah. know. I'm just happy to be in the dance. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when I came, I was just dancing, nigga. I didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but come to find out, this is your song. And I'm thinking that Erica Banks jumped on it, didn't she? Man. That's big, nigga. Yeah, she made it even better. So just let's talk about this for a minute. Like, like Baby Joker, who is Baby Joker? Baby Joker is misunderstood. I'm a dancer at heart. I fell in love with music two years ago, and I'm trying to come better than I ever was. Wow. How did you fall in love with the music? Like, who inspired you? Because people fall in love because they heard somebody or they saw somebody. Who inspired you? I think my story's different. I, I never knew I could do music. I moved to Seattle and, like, I used to go to like the studio with my family, like my cousins, like just to watch them make music because I knew it was fun. So I wanted to see how they was doing it. But so one day I just jumped on one of their tracks and then after that I got in, I got in touch with the dude that was recording them and I started going by myself. Really? Like, like just to see if I could do it. Mm-hmm. And I freestyled my first song, so I was like, it's in me. And once you did it, when you heard it, you're like, dang, I can do this. Yeah. And then the response, it always depends on the response of the crowd how people gravitated to it so how what was the response the first time you put it out like the response was it wasn't all the way good or all the way bad it was like 50 50 but like if you don't have anything bad to say about it then that don't mean that it can grow mm -hmm. so i still like that too i like when people tell me like what i need to fix and what areas i need to carry on mm -hmm. i like that so wow. you take constructive criticism very well i'll fix it originally where, where you from dallas what part no from what part? Skillman, Ardelia, Abram? That's Park. Resident Trace, right there, Skillman, Ardelia. Oof. But that's a rough area. It used to look good for you niggas got over there. Yes. <laughs> 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 he trying to say y'all messed it up. That's what he trying to up, say. Nigga, I ain't gonna lie when we was like, <laughs> <laughs> that old was clean, wasn't it, dog? But yeah. then y'all niggas went through there. Yeah, it shut down now. Boards on the window and then bandos over there now. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it look real different. It don't even look like yeah, home then we What did we really? see today? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> we you're just right. was over there. Like, so, you know, and that's something that, you know, at over time it does, you know, I can say this much just because I'm an older cat. It ain't really the fact that it we ran it down. It's just the fact that the city and the people don't upkeep it for us. 
Let's be real for a minute. Yeah. When you look at Plano and when you look at Rockwall and you look at all these other surrounding cities that keep them cities up. But when it comes exactly. down People to where, where we from, yes, where we at, they just pretty much don't take care of our areas like they do to others. Let's be real. Oh, y'all, we're the real one now. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Keep it real yeah, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the real deal. But that's why I keep running to the hood. I don't give a damn. I'm going with my people regardless. Nah, me too. You know what I'm <laughs> so, I know where I came from. Already, and I never forget it. Let's let's talk about let's let's talk about this song, man. What a freak. Let's talk about how you even came up with that. I gotta refresh my memory. I was just um I think it was right after a party. I went uh, like to Thriller House. I was gonna like just pick up a beat and go. But he, he said like he was gonna stay up all night, so we was just sitting there just cooking. And I think it was like it, like the second or third beat he made, I just like, nah, let me hop on that right now. As soon as I hopped on it, I kept it though, cause I ain't like it. Yeah. I was like, maybe I need to fix it. Something then I forgot about it. It sat in my notes for like three months. Showed it to Prince and uh it's Matt K, a new artist coming up right now. I showed them that song and shit that was getting on my eye. Wow. Man, did you know it from the jump it was gonna be that one? You didn't know? Nah, like it took us to put it through TikTok. Of course. Mm -hmm. To know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put it through TikTok that first night. It did a little something, but then like Boogie and Ty made a dance to it the next day. And then it took KP to redo it. And it got a million views. Wow. wow. So you and KP and all y'all built this up together. But then you, at some point, you end up on 1501. How does that happen? It was just like, even though we was all building everything together, like the main goal was for like um, to somebody to branch off and get the light to become a bigger light. Okay. So we could shine on everybody else. Yeah. That was the whole plan. Okay. It doesn't always work that way, but that was the plan. Yeah. So are you still connected to those guys in any way? Do y'all still do anything together? We do shows and we pop out for like the radio. We do school paper. I was like, we just did a sh show together today. Okay. How was that? That's Skyline, right? No, we did it at, uh, 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 was it Lincoln. Lincoln. At Lincoln, yeah. That's Lincoln. what he told me. Carl okay. told me it was going to be Lincoln. Is it going viral right now? So <laughs> when you guys were over there, so C4S and y'all was there? Mm -hmm. And how did that How did that work out? Like, like y'all do, do y'all come together or do, are y'all split or how, how does it work? It was more so kind of, you know what I'm saying, gravitational split it, but like, we still working slowly but surely, like trying to get everything back to solid. Yeah. But it ain't just gonna go back yeah. quick, quick high. So when people because see you, when people see you, they still think C4S, don't they? Yeah. They don't realize that you are an individual artist by yourself somewhere else. Yeah, like that's something I didn't like, but I, I didn't look upon it like I was like, I, like, I, like I hated it, like, because I still became C4S and they still helped me grow. Mm -hmm. But I just also wanted my recognition for my music. For your own individuals. Yeah. yeah. So, so you got it a lot. Just like how he said that hearing that song, he didn't know it was you. Did you get that a lot? I get that every day. That people didn't every know it was your day. song. Even when I'm at car house. I danced to that hoe. Really? I didn't know it was your nigga. I every got day. down to that hoe. Nigga, you remember. And you hated that. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, I ain't hated it because I like it. Cause it no, I'm talking it. the fact that people didn't know that that was your song. Yeah, like, like it makes me not like it a little bit, but at the same time, like, like it just it drives me to keep going. Yeah, I need another song to hit. Yeah, I, was about I need to another say. song to hit, and then they gonna know. What's the next song that you gonna have that's bigger than this? Go. Really? Is it out yet? No, nah, it's not out, but we already got the media already working it. I already got a video shot for it. We should finish with the music. When is it we coming gonna, out? We gonna probably drop it on the tape. And you feel like it's gonna be bigger? Yeah. I see everybody shaking their head like. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> Y'all got to dance to it and everything. Yeah. Yeah, we already, yeah, we already yeah. Yeah, we got a choreo to it. So am I going to hear a little bit of it? I don't have to hear all of it, but can I hear a little bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh. well, you know, I'll let you know if that hoe going to go. <laughs> go. Yes, sir. Yeah, go. nigga, go. Go. Yeah, no, you know, <laughs> that hoe sound like it's going to do it, nigga. <laughs> you got me hype right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, so... I mean, like when you signed the deal and, and you said you was going with 1501, how hard was that being that you had such a connection with C4S? At first, it felt kind of hard because I felt like that I was just like 
I didn't want to f- make them feel like I was just like l- l- leaving them behind. But at the same time, I had to look out for me. I got kids too, so I can't keep waiting. And then you never know, like you might get that deal in your face today. You might be gone tomorrow. So how did you how did you let them know? Did you tell them? Up I was front? just about to say, did, did you, you tell old boy prints you, yeah. about it and all of that before you signed? I made a mistake. I ain't I ain't let nobody know nothing. Why? I felt um, it was just like some personal stuff, like we had like conversated about, and it made me kind of like kind of question my movement. Yeah, and I just acted like without thinking. I just I just reacted. But but it's a part of. I mean, when you think about just you know communication is everything, of course. But then sometimes you 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 do things. Do you pray? Do you do you do you believe in God? I believe in a higher power. Okay. And so at the end of the day, you know, like when you make a move, you just go with what you, because it got to come from inside for me. I don't know about it, nobody else, but I got to be like, I got to look in the mirror myself. You know what I'm saying? When I can look at myself in the mirror and you know, the eyes is the interest to the soul. And then I'm good with it. I don't give a damn what nobody think after that, to be honest with you. But yeah. at the end of the day, these are, these are complicated matters when you, um, when you basically, you know, build a bond or build a build up with people. Um, this thing happens all the time when it comes down to groups and, and, and a large groups of people. You know what I mean? It's really the mastermind concept when you deal with a lot of minds thinking and something powerful is going to happen anyway, whether you with this group of people or that group of people. Anytime you get a lot of people together, minds come together. That's where things start to happen. And if you're a smart businessman, then you know that. You know, ain't no, you know, I ain't gonna say that because I, I thought about something Shaq said. But <laughs> you know, he said he told Kobe, "Ain't no, ain't no I, I and team." You know, but he said, "But there's a me in that motherfucker." You know, you know what I'm saying? So at the end, because <laughs> he wouldn't pass the ball. <laughs> but, <laughs> but the thing you gotta understand is, man, when you when you Basically, put a lot of good people together, or anybody, a group of people together, and they come together with a common goal, man. Something electrifying is going to happen, bro. So, at the end of the day, I think that's important to know how to build a team and to know there is going to be some ups and downs, some hills, and everything else, but you got to be able to make it through that. Something special going to always rise to the top. You know that, right? So, this is the whole game, man. So, now what is the, what is the, what is the game plan? What's going on this last quarter? Yeah, you was at Lincoln today, nigga, but that's over. What we yeah. got next week, nigga? Let's go. So next week, we uh, was or week to be, after next, or Christmas, or the holidays, or Thanksgiving. What's going on? Oh no, like, I'm scheduled all the way up to December, but like this next month, the whole month we doing media mm-hmm. runs. We oh had, yeah, it went in North Carolina, we're gonna hit Memphis, we're gonna hit ATL a couple times, and we're gonna keep running the bookings because the bookings been coming in left and right, but I've been turning down paid bookings. Why? Because the other bookings was better looks. Oh, okay. For like the content. For yeah. like, like to like to bring like the bigger bookings in. I ain't mm-hmm. I ain't greedy. Yeah. You're like I, you play I, smart. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah like it's That's chestnut good. checkers. Yeah, it is. His prince taught me that. Wow. I mean, when you think about uh, being on team on, on on the team with Carl, uh, there has been a, you know, he got uh, had a lot. We've had, we had a lot of his artists here, um, and just uh, being what was special. What made you make that the choice to to join that group? Um. Uh, 1501. Is that the first um, label that reached out to you? From my knowledge. Okay. Yeah, because you had other people working. Mm-hmm. So I never really, I think like a couple of them reached out. They weren't really even talking about nothing. So mm-hmm. he wasn't going to bring it to my attention and waste my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But but like when Carl came in the picture, I just knew it was, it was genuine because I got to know him as a person first before we even got to talk about business. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. y'all were going down there at C4S doing different promo runs yeah. and stuff like that. So you got to know him. Got you. How about, uh, how, how, it, 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 okay, this is the producer for real, this nigga lying. Yeah. <laughs> lying and this the producer. Me and him like Shaq and Kobe. Okay, now, yeah. that's good. Was he with C4S as well? Nah. No. So you was in Houston. And you, how did you guys, how do you, because this go, you did something with the go. Yes, okay, how did you how did you feel dealing with a different producer than what you normally had dealt with? No, nah, uh, like I still deal with uh, Thriller. So Thriller okay. with you still? Mm-hmm. Is he with 1501 as well? Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so y'all got so how many producers over there? Damn, my nigga, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, y'all got over there with the music beats and shit. I yeah. seen, I was in the studio, nigga. It's got three, four flows, nigga. Let y'all, yeah. yeah. So I know y'all doing it. So how many y'all got? Twenty? No, it's thirty. Like, <laughs> and now, from my knowledge, all I know is like my two producers I deal with and uh, Sarge. Sarge, yeah, that's my boy. You know that already. Yeah. And that's family. So at the end of the day, just to see y'all all coming together. I know it's gonna be something special. Carl got it. Carl, you know, when it comes down to Megan Thee Stallion and, and knowing how to, you know, uh, Erica Banks or, you know, Smoothie. Smoothie over there too, Smoothie ain't going it? going crazy. Smoothie called me yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah, day before yesterday? Day before yesterday, yo, yeah. yeah. Smoothie. He's somewhere doing something. I, I know where he at, I just ain't gonna put his business out in the street. <laughs> 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 no, but I mean, how is it, you guys gonna link up and do something? Y'all label mates now. Uh, yeah, 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 for sure. That's already in the works. Yeah. I, I already got a song with D-Raw. I'm making a couple hooks. Damn D-Raw, he was on here too. Hell, that damn D-Raw. Yeah. Where the hell is he at, man? That nigga uh, ain't called me or nothing. You know that? I don't know. Everybody be doing their own thing. We, call we all be nigga, busy. Mm -hmm. You know me? I'll call a nigga in a minute, nigga. Just, what's up, nigga? What you doing over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just check out. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that in an RB. But at any rate, y'all got a good one together. Y'all, you think it's one? Yeah. You know, you niggas. I feel like y'all funny. I feel like dog. everything I make though is like that's yeah, yeah. That's the new one. Yeah, every time you make one, don't debate. Every time I make a new one, I think it's better. Than <laughs> that's what they says. Do. Every artist mm -hmm. says every artist. Y'all quiet as hell back here though. <laughs> you niggas don't look like y'all ready to dance party or nothing. Oh, we just let get his thing. Tell me what the hell y'all doing there if y'all ain't gonna talk. <laughs> you know what I mean? What is you come for? I'm just to support? Who gives a damn? Where niggas don't, niggas don't act like that in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Everybody get to talk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Where did no, the name Joker just like come to have from? A good time. It's different over here, baby. Uh, <laughs> Why they call you Joker? When I was dancing, because I got a big brother that's like my twin that like we mm -hmm. look alike. Like, he been looking after me ever since like I was growing up. Like I was homeless, I was living with him and everything, but like when we was so he's dancing. not a biological brother. He's nah, just like, okay, nah. big homie. Yeah, but blood can make us closer. Mm -hmm. uh, but me and him, like, we had like a like a twin thing going. Like, we lived just like, so he's like, you wouldn't be able to tell. But like, he, he was big joker, and he was, I was baby joker. But like, we both misunderstood, and we both like, it's like DC Comics, so like, we come in with like like an image, mm -hmm. and that's where it came from. Wow. But, but you I really kept it going and kept it alive. Wow. Oh, okay. You know, I ain't you forgot to yeah, change forgot. it. I got to talking nigga. Forgot all about that one was up there. <laughs> Let me put your damn bitch up. I'm in my cousin. <laughs> I know that. So little Snoopy was, was your cousin. Yeah. And and I, and she peace. just she rest in peace. And she just said that you didn't even you never even disclosed that when you was trying to make your way. And I, and Lovely. I thought we just talked about that on yeah. here before you got here. It's gonna come out. But yeah, she she really big up that the fact that you wanted to pave your own way. That's that's hard, man. Mm -hmm. Most niggas will ride anything they can get on, nigga. Anything they can, any bandwagon, nigga chunking everything to get a like out of here. And this whole it's crazy out here, man. <laughs> I feel like nobody re like would like respect who I am. Yeah, mm -hmm. did that. Yeah. But what I want to know, I want to know, cause um, you say you were homeless at one point. Okay, you were raised in North Dallas with your mom and dad. No, nah, my mom. With your mom, where was your dad? My my, my dad been locked up since I was ten. Okay, he's still locked up now? Yeah. How many years did he get? Like 30. 30 years? He got charged under like the Kingpin statue in, in yeah. Iowa Davenport. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, have you ever seen him? Have you went to visit? Any of that? Do you have a relationship with him? Do you, does he call? He calls. I went to go, like, like, like last time I seen my dad was when I was like 16. Mm-hmm. Mm. hmm mm. And how do you feel about that? Did it affect you when you were a kid growing up? Yeah. Because you yeah. have kids now, so a lot of times we try to make up for what we didn't have when we was younger with our kids. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about that? We get my nigga napkin. <laughs> <laughs> I make my nigga emotional in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Here. Nah, like I fuck with my daddy, but same time I don't. 
you put it down, yeah, and take that off. Yeah, you don't. You do what you don't. But that's life, because even like with friends and people, you know, one minute we into them, next minute we not. People are human beings. Nobody's perfect. People make mistakes, and there's always time to grow. We always say, you know, sometimes we are who we, who we see. And a lot of times, as we get older, we blame our parents for different things because we don't know what they had to go through when they were younger. And until they open up, and I, I'm going to say, yeah, I'm older, but then... People before me never talked about feelings. They kept mm -hmm. all of that in. It wasn't my place to ask them certain questions because I have cousins who be like, I could never ask my mama that, you crazy? And I'm like, you have to heal. If you don't want to carry down that generational curse to your kids, you better ask them questions. Whether you get an answer or not, you got to say, I forgive you. You got to say, I love you. Because even when you don't mean to pass that on to your own kids, it goes on sometimes, yeah. and you have to. Well, you know, one thing about it, really, you just you, you got to understand, man. Everybody go through something for a reason. Mm -hmm. When you done faced life, you really done been. I'm a real, real street. I done did it. I I, I don't even supposed to say this on here because I really don't tell my business. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but you you know, I, I understand how you know your dad could get thirty years. You know, when you done looked at a, a, a face a lot of time, you you basically that could have been me. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, there and and it's ways that they trick you up, and then that's still uh, that's still your father, no matter what. You know what I'm saying? A lot of time people count you out, man. Like I said, I wasn't a bad person, but I promise you, it could have been me. Yeah, and that's, that's the crazy the part. Of, you better, yeah. That's you the better, cause why I the phone. nigga, they used to you look at me and be talking change. about that nigga. That man, he, that nigga, bad. He is, he that. And then it was plots. You got to understand. Even the judicial system is set up to make us fail. Mm -hmm. When you go and look in that courtroom, that courtroom ain't for us. Mm -hmm. It ain't not. I am so wrecked out when I go to a courtroom. Go in one. Y'all can go tomorrow. All y'all. You gonna be like, damn, I'm supposed to be in here. Yeah, I'd be nervous. Yeah. Think yeah. about it. It's not for us. Thing. I'd yeah. be nervous. So you think about that. How easy it is for our people to get tricked up, bro. Mm -hmm. And as and, long and as you're <clears throat> still here, you have a chance to 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 fix stuff. You know what I mean? Because once a person is gone, you're going to be like, man, I wish I did. I wish I made that yeah. call. I wish I took that call. You don't want that. Keep answering that phone, man, because I'm telling yeah. you right now, society, uh, man, that, uh, man uh, that DA down there, he got so many black people out of jail when he got in the office down there because they had put fake drugs and all kind of stuff mm -hmm. on black people, bro. Y'all better stop playing, man. These people, they want to make you look bad. And when you're young like y'all, they'll take y'all out so fast, bro. So, I, and, and that's the crazy part is that our people so quick to jump on the bandwagon with something that don't even make no sense, bro. Anytime. Right now, they laughing at Kanye. Ah, 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 ah. Mm -hmm. Nigga, that's my, that's still my, that's, he's still a brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Regardless of how niggas laugh, I don't care, nigga, I'm keeping him. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's, that's me, that I'm keeping that nigga. No matter what, that nigga look like us when he look in the mirror, bro. And at the end of the day, if he going through something where he's saying crazy stuff, okay, is y'all gonna leave him there? He could evolve. He done did something that most niggas ain't never done in their yeah, life. Yeah. Won't be able to do. And that's probably why they trying to take the nigga down. Cause they don't want y'all to look at somebody yeah. and it look like something that y'all can go toward that's gonna make you better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They ain't looking to help us. So if you see somebody trying to take something down, you I might ought to think, why are they doing it? Do your research. Yeah, well he said this, he said that. It don't matter. Mm -hmm. They still, if he didn't say nothing, they still nigga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, Stop sure. playing, man. So I, um, my other question was, when you said you were homeless, how old were you when you became homeless and why? I was like 15, 16. My mama was like, me and her was bumping heads a lot because I didn't understand why she would come home with an attitude every day. And like, you know, like just cuss at us and like, like mistreat us. But it was also you know, like three boys and one woman. So I know like we was overwhelming. I know that now. Yeah. But back then I didn't understand it. You were the oldest? Nah, nah, I'm the middle child. Middle but I, child. Yeah, but I used to act as the oldest because mm -hmm. everybody else used to hold their tongue and he used to like, just sit there and take it. I couldn't. Yeah. You probably was just like her. You know they always say when you just like somebody, you keep bumping heads? Mm -hmm. You might have been just yeah. like her. Yeah, like we love just as hard as we hate each other. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 
man, everybody go through stuff with their parents, bro. This ain't nothing but normal. I got kicked out. I was, I cussed like a sailor, nigga. I was in there cutting up every day. She passed away. I felt bad on some of the stuff that I done as a youngster because I couldn't go back and fix it. She died of cancer. You know what I'm saying? I was 23, 24 mm -hmm. at the time. She was 40, 46. So at the end of the day, I can't go back and fix it now because I was not trying to hear it at that time. You could tell me nothing. So at the end of the day, you got an opportunity to do anything, do it now. You know what I'm saying? But you got your career now, and that's what we're about to jump back on. You know, I just want to say it's commendable, bro, for you to even get a song to go as far as this song is going. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of niggas out here. They dropping every day, nigga. I in my inbox, nigga. Niggas <laughs> <laughs> is in there, nigga. They in there, I promise, deep. It's a bunch of them every day <laughs> trying to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? These niggas in there, and they be like, nigga, like, I'm hard. It's so, like, really? Like, damn, all, all ten of these folks think you hard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's <laughs> all ten of these folks. <laughs> you think you hard. I just call them what you know what <laughs> Like, that's who following him. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no big fight. This nigga hard, though. He come at me like solid, nigga. Like, nigga, when I'm coming on? <laughs> <laughs> Who is you, nigga? And I look, I be like, damn, my nigga, you ain't putting nothing up he in three working. years. <laughs> I can't what stand you that. coming up real for? I this had one is, of them. Do it happen? It happens all the time. I had one of them moments, like when I first started rapping, I used to always think that I was supposed to be doing something. Everybody used to humble me real quick. <laughs> but I we would. always educate. We always tell people all the time. I say, if you're not working as hard as we are, if you're not dropping content five, six times a day on every single platform, then why you think you need to be on here? Let me tell you something, man. Y'all oh, know it. Real. You already know it. Jordan Jackson's on here. He said you post, you post, you post, you post, you post a post thirty times a day. Thirty. Yeah. That's on all platforms. All different platforms. All different platforms okay, accumulated. You see what I'm saying? I'll probably do that. Five to seven on this one, six on this one, four on this one. But that whole post be going every single day continuously. That's real talk, though. Mm hmm. These are the people that come on here. Now, you know, you got to believe them because they're making $480,000 a month when they come sit in front of me. I got to believe them. Nose. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look back at that Jordan Jackson one. That Jordan Jackson one. Go back and watch that interview. He with Country Wayne them. They making millions. They don't, they independent. They self, self-proclaimed. They, they made they self that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They don't need, they don't, you can't go tell them what to do and how to act. Cause they they grown. I went down there to Houston and they had thirty seven hundred in that arena, didn't mm -hmm. they? Thirty seven hundred and two people, maybe three people, three acts, three acts, and they all on the country one. No, all that's his money. So what I'm saying is, if you post consistently like that every day, at the end of the at the end of next year or about this time next year, watch what happens. Everybody will know your name. Cause you putting it in a what well, you think Boss Talk doing? How the hell are we doing twelve thousand subscribers a month? Mm -hmm. Consistency, nigga. Mm -hmm. Y'all just put a nigga on. nigga. This is what Boss Talk is, though. Drop That's why gym. we going hard, because we understand that help our people. And the more you give, the more you receive. So nigga ain't, ain't sitting back hiding it. Like I told Mr. Hit that mm -hmm. today, nigga, where it's at? Nigga, what he call it? What's that he call it? Let me shout that shit, nigga. Um, chit chat with hit that. Hit, yeah, hit chit chat with hit that or whatever. Nigga, where it's at, nigga? You know what? <laughs> Yeah, because this, this is what I do. Uh, the we Red always, the Sun. We the always tell people, we always where talk to people about Where is that, the Nigga, I talk that talk, nigga. You're, where is that? I'm telling this to the world, nigga. We got to go get it. Because if we don't, they, you know, others going to get it. There's enough for everybody to share. Yeah. yeah. Why not pull everybody up with you? Why are you going to hate on somebody else just because they even might be doing the same thing you doing? You have enough fans out here. There's billions of people in the world. Most people get too too caught up in one thing too mm -hmm. like nigga nigga start a cooking show nigga yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's it, cause it's content yeah. it's content over create quit trying to be so creative and romantic with your content mm -hmm. just push it up no, for Y'all sure. not ready, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm doing reruns tonight. Yeah. At midnight, I drop. I dropped phase on last night. I'm gonna drop something else tomorrow, tonight. Some rerun. The TV rerun and everybody watch it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think I did two or three thousand on that thing by the time I woke up. Because you're building fans every day. People going yeah. and you training their mind. 
So they know that nigga gonna drop tonight. And your new fans, <laughs> your new fans haven't seen your old stuff. Yeah. You see what I mean? Your new fans don't know nothing about your old stuff. So why not bring your old stuff back so your new fans can see that too? Because one thing about people, if they see your craft and they like it, how many of y'all go through somebody's YouTube and scroll down to the first thing oh, that they put out? Yeah. Everybody do it. Nobody does that. No, I'm talking about everybody do it when it comes down. When you go on somebody's Instagram, I be nosy, I be looking at niggas. But stuff. you don't go back down. Now Four, YouTube, five, YouTube, six years ago. Let me yeah, tell you, you, let me tell you something. You see what I mean? But YouTube will reshare it. If you put it back up, they'll start resharing. Yeah, they'll start yeah. resharing. So you got to keep doing this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm giving it up tonight. I be doing that with, yeah. like, with, uh, uh, like with Instagram, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I, have like, I have like one yeah, YouTube. TikTok video. Mm-hmm. I drop it like five times a year. But See? It, but it's like the exact same video. But it gets yeah. millions it's going to get me into it. And it increased every single time. Because time. you're building your fan base. So at first, when you ju- first dropped it, you might have had like, say, 10,000. Now you have 50,000. Look how many more people seeing it. Yeah. And it so why me not? More of a I dropped that uh, KLC the other day. When I first dropped it, it did... About 100, 200 views? Two, 300 views. I dropped that whole other night. It did 70 right quick on YouTube. I said, damn. Look at that boy go. <laughs> so what I'm saying is other people seeing it now and, and, and it's 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 something about just keeping the consistent, you know what I mean, content going. Yeah. Uh, most people every are day. Trying, yeah, every day. I think people are getting they are not they're not working like that. They're they're too busy trying to create stuff mm-hmm. and not using all the stuff they already created. Man. Hell yeah. I, I tell I tell like all my friends as artists too, like everybody talented. It's just they put their whole head into, oh, I got to be in the studio every day. Be in the studio every day. No, nigga, work song by song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get everything pushed out for one song, then go to the next. What you doing? So you got kids. You said you got, how many, three or five? Three. That three? be working. And he's all boys? Yeah. That nigga right got, there at the house. I got two boys and one girl. Are you done? Yeah. Nigga, please. Because you young. Did, you, <laughs> did they cut you right there? They yeah, didn't cut you, nigga? You, know, they, they you did. You did? They did it. You nah, t- I'm about to. Yeah, say. black people. I was about to say, you too young to do it. And cut your thing off, nigga. I'm way time by like. You know, <laughs> but about I, 35. Have you, I was about to say, because have you um, actually called to find out what the requirements yeah. are? How old you got to be? You got to be like 30. Then you, you, you got to like. This nigga really trying to do You got to actually like. <laughs> <laughs> you got to sign like a. Um, God, what that's called, like a waiver, like a waiver. Like yeah. No, the reason no, why that. I was asking, I didn't know requirements for men, but I know women. It say like you got to be. It, they raised it. It used to be twenty five, yeah. but it, now it's like thirty, and you have to be married to be able to do it. So I didn't know. I, if, I think that's one of the things. Listen, too. listen, I, I ain't yeah. checked on that. You have to I, get your yeah. I ain't checked on that because I'm not going up there let them folks be cutting nothing of mine. <laughs> No, that's but I heard that it does something to the men my though. My white homeboy did that. Did. <laughs> my white homeboy did that. But I don't, uh-uh. Being the, I ain't never did that. I heard that if the men do it, um, it does something to y'all sex drive. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Research. Nigga, that's what I heard. Play. So you might want to research a little bit. Playing with them folk. I can't get us on up there. You better all. You better quit trying to do what everybody. I'm nasty. So I can't <laughs> you might want to check and into cut it. Cut the wrong right. thing out. You feel me? <laughs> what a freak in, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what a freak in, nigga. <laughs> say so. So man, you know one thing I gotta say, man, is uh, you know you guys. Uh, you 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 say you got to dance go or whatever. That what you say. He yeah. said he gonna give us a little bit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the thing here in a minute when we oh, get done. Oh, you're not done. gonna put it on here? No, hell no. I don't want to put it on here. I want to see the dance. You get the damn cameras out. We gonna they see. gonna dance? Yeah, they go. Oh, that's what they that's what they told me at the door. Yeah, they gonna turn you up. They said, oh, man, yeah, we dance, we dance. Yeah, okay, and, and, we gonna and, see, and nigga. And you know. Dude. I'm oh, the choreograph. I don't even know I'm what that is. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I'm choreographing this thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, y'all gonna see. We not really all that talk. We like oh, 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 oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, and she's serious was, about it too. You know what, man? Big we used to be like ones. that in the, back in the, in the days. <laughs> nigga, we we'll dance the big against ones. a nigga in a minute, nigga. Yep. This was this happened in my day. But your dancing is different from the dancing now. No, no, now. no, nigga. I get down still. Yeah, that, that, my boy told me that. My boy told me that. Go back and watch the video, nigga. I had a little something. He, he talked me. He talked me into it. I was like, hell no. Nah. They all lost me so fast on that old man. I backed up and looked at. Hell no. Nah. Let me get out of here. I think when we posted it on Facebook, it went up. It went up. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, nah, it's all about having fun, man. I think you guys are doing something that's needed, man. What y'all doing, our youth, man, I, I'm so happy, man. When I see all of y'all, man, y'all don't even know. That's why I give y'all hell. Soon as you see me, that nigga going in. Because <laughs> I already know. I love you, man. And if a nigga really love you, he going to show real, you know, genuine love. But he going to be real with you. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas be faking. I don't even like folks at the school to be faking with my damn kids. Nigga, quit talking to my kids like that. I don't do all that at the house. You know I be mm-hmm. like that. Nigga, talk normal to them. You know? Yeah. <laughs> what is you? Oh, well, she's doing great. No, <laughs> nigga, stop that. Nigga, come on. We got to go. You know? <laughs> right? Yeah. That was sure. So that's the cold part about when it, man. When they get home, they ain't going to know that. They ain't going to know nothing about that. And when they hit life, when you get outside, you say you went out early. Yeah. Think about when yeah. you get pushed out there like a you're dropping out the nest type situation, man, you don't, some, life can hit you. If something happened to me and you and them kids got to fend for themselves, then what? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man, stop playing. I'm kind of I'm kind of glad my brothers ain't have to do all that. Yeah. Yeah, it turned out different. Yeah, yeah, that's real. So you yeah. the only one that left home. Yeah. They stayed home. Yeah, but look at you. Look at what God doing for you. That's the reason you had to leave. You ain't really left, nigga. Let me tell you something, man. The steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Mm-hmm. You ain't have to leave. It's already been written. Yep. So it's already you walking in your you walking right in, in your, your destiny. Path. Yeah, yeah, that's real. You ain't know I'm gonna give you that. Yeah, we all need to hear what he's saying. No, it's just well that yeah, that's y'all gotta that's watch, that's watch that's boss talk. He go down. Think about a thousand and some episodes. I've been talking this talk for a while now. And we always talk about God. Yeah, we got to because that's who we are. But then we not we not we not come on man. You're not in heaven today, nigga. We finna talk about everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but we still gonna talk about God. But, yeah. you know, you gotta understand, man, we still here. So I, people who too holy, you know how you act about mm. Think about your ain't and they gonna be tripping, no, dude. That's that old. Too holy. How, how's it riding? Is it cool? I, I, would go, I went to Chicago to buy one of those. They, they tried to screw me over. Uh, the Sprinter van cash. Huh? Yeah, nigga, I'm not. I'm a boss for real. What the hell you think boss? What it like on the inside? It was it, it was hard, nigga. I'm doing it for a whole podcast in the inside. It was like a party I'm bus. Not That's gonna really play what it is. It's coming. But like a podcast and ride. Yeah, yeah like we just gonna ride and then do. no, I'm gonna pull up on, on you. No, I'm gonna pull up. That's coming, nigga. Real old nigga do stuff like that, nigga. It's really gonna be a vacation for me, nigga. Just to ride around. <laughs> it's coming. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just a vacation. <laughs> I just want to get away, nigga. Yeah. Not for sure. In style, you but know. That, <laughs> but that's a whole nother like trend. Like that's something yeah. small it's, for y'all to do. It's like, something go, I'm gonna do. Yeah, like go city to city. That, yeah, we already do that. You ain't been watching Boss Talk? I did. Uh, we been to Chicago. We did everywhere. LA. We did LA. Vegas. Y'all we did podcast. Yeah. yeah. Why don't y'all come to the mansion? I already been. We've been, been to, to the fifteen oh one to the, uh, 15, to the, the studio. studio. Go look. We it's did. We did interviews there. Nigga, I'll pull up. I'm that one. Yeah, we should. Well, they gotta come to yeah. the compound when we have all the YouTubers and. You know, I don't be want to be around a whole bunch. No, of but you gotta think about it. When we do that, we <laughs> need we need silence. <laughs> someone. Nah, I do oh, this. This it for me. Y'all be too loud and rowdy. We don't need to be over there with y'all. Hell, I'm gonna be in there with what you dancing. Talking about where the freaks all on tables, nigga. I can just imagine it. It go crazy when I ain't around, nigga. They go crazy. So I don't want to be I don't want to be in there when y'all go to doing all that. No, sir. I'm going to be, I just want you to get in the van, get your damn interview, and get out. (laughs) (laughs) You got to go home. No, No, so what? Next? Yeah, so so what, what, uh, what would you like for people to know about you and, and, and for the legacy that you would like to, for people to know uh, after you leave Boss Talk today? Like, what's big? Uh, what's big for you? Big for me is, like, making my music elevate because I, I don't always want to be, like, rapping about twerking and doing all the club stuff all the time. I want to make real music. Mm. Like what? Tell me what you want I, I like, to do. I like, 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 melodic. I do R&B, too. You can I, sing? Nah, I do like. <laughs> I was about to say, you said R and B. I use my, uh, I like my raspiness. Like, okay. I don't like just sing, but I know how to carry a melody. Okay. So you, you, you yeah, 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 yeah. I, did, I had a nigga in here the other week, uh, Bumpy Johnson. Man, I, 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 I should have named him too. That nigga ate that's that. He got that raspy. He got that voice. That nigga ate that mic up. Though. Him and yeah. him and gone. Him and that's another light skin dude. That nigga say who? It's it's him and another light skin dude that yeah. have that same type of voice. Yeah, 
Tell me his name. It's like they sound like Mo Three, like Reborn. Oh, you talking about? He talking about Gunner Measy? Yeah, man. Yeah, that he been on here too. too. He just was here. That nigga hard. Yeah, that nigga right mm-hmm. there. He rapping, nigga. What's going on in Houston though? What y'all niggas from Houston? He tell me what's going on down I'm there. Not I'm not yes. from here. I was, I was, I was school, school. You know. Really know. Oh, you ain't tapped in. I don't really know. It's lit all the time. Like it's always lit. It's always a movie. But who's the who's the who's the who's who else coming up with 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 Baby Joker and all that? Who else coming up? I'd probably say I mess with Guapo. 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 Little Jeremy, he fat. Yeah, he too. Little Jeremy was here the other week. Yeah. Uh, I got a surprise coming. It's some hard females in the game too, though. Who? Mona Leo. You got. I know Mona Leo. Guapo. Oh really? So you did something with him? Yeah, coming soon. Oh, Ken Wynn. Oh, yeah, I heard she him. She's fast. She's fast. I don't know. Um, who else? Um, What's, What's that, that girl name? Girl? Libra Jolie? Jolie? Yeah, I was just about to say. Yeah, she hard. I gotta tap in. That's yeah. what's the yeah. name? Uh, uh, Dizzy Miyake. I interviewed him from Houston. That film by Miyake. Film by Miyake. He from Houston. He ain't from Houston. He's from Detroit, but he live in Houston, Houston, and he be doing all of them people. All that the artists be, out all there. All of Houston, or he be putting them on it. They, they going in. That's where I see him at. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's big. But at the end of the day, man. So where, where, who can we? You know what? Who next on 1501? I'm gonna get all in y'all business now. Mm-hmm. Is anybody else? Y'all got you the newest one. Y'all the newest one. You, you, how you feel about it, nigga? You're a freshman. You the baby. I feel like I gotta go Fresh hard. fish on the line. I feel like I gotta go hard. You yeah. gonna ever change your name? Cause you know, ba- I'm talking the baby part. Cause you ain't really no yeah, baby. I call no a nigga the Joker, nigga. I'm trying to help no, the nigga. You like, see me? I feel like um, damn baby. Once I get to that point to where I can, then I will. But, but baby popular okay. though. But like, you know, you know, but like social media, like you know, like you change your name, it's gonna be so hard to keep that traction. Mm-hmm. But if you make a name for yourself, it don't matter. Don't matter what you call yourself. Yeah. real. Watch yeah, Kanye just changed it just straight to ye. Yeah. Yeah, Kanye ain't even noticed. Mm-hmm. Kanye acting a damn fool out here, but I'm with him. <laughs> <laughs> if he in the car going down the highway right now, he running by 250, and I'm in the back seat like this, nigga. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he going crazy, but I'm with him. I'm with this nigga, man. I don't know where we at, but nigga, I got to stay down, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Till we come up, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, man, hey, man, favorite uh, top, top three, three artists of all time. time, dead or alive. Let's go. Any genre. We winding down now. Don Tolliver. Okay. Don yes, Tolliver. Oh, he was oh, like that, nigga. Oh, Let's okay. go. Now Number two. Uh, what's do we listen to on, uh, on YouTube all the time? We watch his performances. Uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah. Aaron Hall. Who? Aaron Hall. Never heard of him. Aaron what Hall? Y'all never heard of Aaron I Hall. I haven't. I miss you. Yeah, I know that nigga, man. Stop oh, playing. You know. <laughs> See, I know yeah. the songs. Before I don't always you know go the... to sleep yeah. at night. Yeah. I like the way he don't forget. Yeah. yeah, nigga, don't oh, try to play me like... around here, nigga. I'm, <laughs> okay. I'm a real music See, I know nigga. the song. I just don't know the name yeah, of the person Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go all the way in. That hard. That's hard, nigga. You just did that. I'm I like the way he used to be as a artist. Yeah, that nigga crazy. What? What? Yeah, but R. Kelly told that nigga, hey, let me go, and I ain't gonna do you like that, man. <laughs> you know, so R. Kelly ate that nigga so lunch yeah, during was, that time. But they both was hard, though. Yeah. And my last one is Lil Got It. Who? Yeah. Lil Got It, Lil Key, Lil Brother. Okay, okay. That, that's who you, that's your third? That's yeah, my inspiration right now. Wow. That's it, that's it. Man, so man, I, I just just a shout out, man. Just one at a time. What's your name? My name V. Right there in that oh. mic. Yeah, just. Oh. just. My name V. V? <laughs> V, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. V, what? I want, I want to know your name. TJ. TJ, because one of you niggas might blow up. I want to know your name. Get over here. <laughs> and the twin. I ain't no and damn fool. I know how to do Ty. it. Ty. Ty. Let's go. It's your girl, Key. Y'all already know how it goes. Already? <laughs> and her, hey, that she got that fire. <laughs> you already know. It's your girl. She is date. Hey. <laughs> Who, who else? Who else we got? Let's go, H-Town. Y'all know, it's the one and only the key. Say, no, nah, no, nah, nigga, don't try to get out of the with C4S <laughs> yeah, yeah, today, yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you trying to act like you wasn't here, nigga. Come on. Yeah, nigga, let's be yeah, out. You, you don't want a nigga know you back? Yeah, <laughs> y'all know Party Boy in the cut somewhere, man. Just Already. Chill, man. And where yeah. the other one at? Where she at? Because she was here last time, too. Went oh, she hiding. Okay, she outside <laughs> smoking. <Shit>. Damn. <laughs> we didn't miss it. No, nah, what's your name? Me? You, yeah. My name's Jay. J Money. Is it J Money? It's J Man. J Man. Got it. Got it, man. 
Man, it's, it, you ain't gonna say nothing. Get your get up. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god. <laughs> he is funny. Um, my name is Red. Man, I could have guessed it. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, man, it's big love, man. I love everything about our young people, man. And the fact that you're doing your thing, man, you're going to be big, nigga. All you got to do is get that. What Gutter TV told mm, me. Big, yeah. Gutter, Gutter TV told me you're going to be big. Bigger. Yeah, I don't know how to say it no other way, nigga. You're going up. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been seeing your moves. The last time you you, you was here, you moving on up, nigga, like the Jefferson. You don't know nothing about that. I'm not going to do you like that. Bro. You're young. <laughs> but you're moving up, okay? Thank you. Thank you. And I, I just want to say thank you for coming on Boss Talk 101. What a bosses talk, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys, man, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to link with you? Yeah, everybody's trying to link with me. Y'all get me on all platforms, 1 a.m. Baby Joker. If anybody trying to get any bookings, any features in, just hit up Onyx254. Man, thank y'all so much, man. Thank I you. hope you guys enjoyed it much as I did, man. And anytime y'all got something going, y'all tapped in. Now follow me on E underscore CEO underscore. Also follow mm -hmm. Boss Talk Podcast 101 boss on Instagram. Talk. What a boss is talking. No sure running mother elf came up. That hoe go hard, don't yeah, it? Damn. 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 <laughs> man, you guys are special, man. Say, man, it's been another great segment. Oh, nice boss talk 101. Mm -hmm. What? Where the boss is talking. Hey! <laughs> yeah. Don't think you're going to get out this damn.